Welcome to another episode of the No Motion Podcast. This is your boy, Sean SGB, a.k.a. The Businessman. Third video. This is my third video. Like, this phone literally, you know, like, I need to buy a new camera. I need to buy a new camera, man, a new phone. I need to upgrade. Because this right here, like, I was spitting fire for two videos straight. I feel like that was the most inspiring. I, I inspired myself through the video. Just so it can be deleted by my phone. I was spending too much heat. Too much heat. That's all I can get from that situation. Two times I had to restart my phone and hopefully this video don't get taken down. But I'm going to try to get past this. Ho hopefully I can do a whole 20 minute segment and get this out the way. But I don't know if I did an intro. Welcome back to another episode of the No Motion Podcast. This is your boy Sean SGB, aka The Businessman. That's what I'm going with. Um, Still got to get a new camera, still got to get some microphones, and still got to do a whole lot of things. But again, we start from the bottom, and we're going to grind to the top. Um, plan on getting two females to do a sit-down, and we're going to record. I usually do like a um, in conversation with women, just off phone, person, you know, type stuff. Uh, even with guys, you know, just because I want to get better, you know, better at this. So, got to practice my craft even when I'm off screen. So, when I'm on screen, I actually know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, um, this is, this, this, that, that really three videos that hurt my feelings, man. That hurt my feelings, man. Damn. Like three videos. I really, th man, that was some fire. It got me motivated, but, um, yeah. Um, so hopefully we can make this without being destroyed, you know, terminated because I'm not, I haven't even posted on YouTube yet. And you already shut it down. Come on, man. My phone, you got, you got to support me, man. I don't know who will support me, but I know you got to support me. Like we're a team. It's just me and you, my boy. Me and you. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into a topic today. Today's um topic is really for man for self improvement. And I'm big bold letters gonna say stay away from women while you're doing that self improvement and climbing your way up to the top of the apex. Um, because again, I know I say a lot about women, but not in a harsh word or bad word. But I mean, like take it how you wanna take it. We all love women, but we also know what comes with women, you know. So, but um. Guys, today is about really self motivation and self building because again, uh, I would I don't want to make these videos too long because I always make videos kind of short, so I'm, I'm gonna be consistent with that until I get somebody to interact with. But I'm gonna try to get this video out the way because again, I'm not trying to get shut down for the fourth time because it's gonna hurt my spirit. But um, okay, so guys, I want you to get into like um, a regimen, be consistent to something. I don't care what it is, walking, jogging. Start with the body, then build the mind. Again, start with the body, then build the mind. You'll get faster results with the body than the mind. The mind requires way more work than the body. Uh, that's my, my my thought process because again, like the older you are, the more you got to train your mind and really put in a lot of effort with the body. Is it was just like consistency, like it's almost like waking up every day, you know, boom boom boom, like da da da. The, the mind, I feel like, the not really feel like, but I know is it's harder to train your mind than your body. That's just my personal opinion. I, I could be wrong, so people let me know if I'm wrong. Um, I just, I told myself I wanted to gain weight. I went from 143. I'm about to be 200 pounds. That's the goal. 200 pounds is some change, and I want to be more toned and lean. So I'm doing upper body and legs most of the time. When I hit the 200, I'm going to do mostly the core consistently because I know it's going to be the easiest part, be the core, because I'm used to, you know, working out my stomach with the upper body. Like, I never had this much mass on me, my upper body. So it's very 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 proud moments from right now but um yeah celebrating this i check my weight every single day um it's amazing to me that i went from 143 145 to literally almost 200 pounds now so it's 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 a dream come true in my opinion because again it was a goal that i set for myself and walking into 2022 and it's, it's really looking at close to 200 pounds like i literally said i want to hit it last year but i'm about to hit it this year and i, I know guaranteed i'm gonna be 200 some pounds this year so is just a great achievement at this moment and i'm you know we don't stop grinding when once you start to grind you don't look back and you know this is gonna be a lifetime grind like i'm never looking back i love going to the gym at this point i go to the gym almost every single day again it's like i want to be something better i want to be something greater so i gotta start with again my process is the body then the mind. um i used to go to the gym every blue moon i even used to go to elephants play basketball sometimes on some some chill stuff but now it's like Going to the gym is not like a lifestyle at this point. Like, I really want to get into it more. I'm I'm fresh to this. I really just started um recently, a few months ago. So it's not really like something I've been doing for like years or like probably I say about um four to three months, 
four to three months max, but probably been dedicated to it for probably like two months or two months. I say I've probably been more dedicated, but each, you know, now I'm way more, way more dedicated than when I was when I started. But again, like this is a process and it's more, it's really, it's self-driven and self-motivated. And every milestone is really like, it helps me be like, why can I not, do other things the same way you know if i'm so focused on this i should be so focused on that that's why i'm dropping videos all the time now it's like i have no excuse um this is the most videos i ever dropped in my life on youtube back to back to back and i really want to stay consistent i don't care if i have a hundred videos by myself but we're going to get some females we're going to get some people to sit down and we're going to have some you know but again like you you don't stop just because you're not getting the results you want yet you got to keep going because nothing happens in a flash you got to build and build and build and build but Guys, I want you to get into the gym and start a regimen where it's like you're self-motivated, self-focused. Because again, when I go to the gym, all I notice is that people have goals and some people will be there to BS, but you know, you have to have a goal. You have to have a standard. Women don't like guys that's not, you know, set up right mentally and physically. You know, I'm just saying it. If you're not mentally set up right, eh, she don't want to deal with you. If you're not physically set up right, if you got the type of bread you have, or you know, then you can probably let that. But if you don't have that type of bread, then nah, you ain't going to let that slide. You got to be physically built too so um i say if you're not up in the upper echelon of um rich guys and you know high value and all that stuff but you you should probably hit the gym to just get the mindset of a, a frame where you like i want to be consistent in something work out regimen where it's just like if i could do this then i can do something for myself goal wise if you have a goal to be a businessman um the next neil armstrong you know the next elon musk uh but, you know, if you want all that, you have to have a you have to have a, a structure where it's like, I'm going to look at this. And the reason why I keep saying I kept saying, you know, stay away from women, because, again, women like women are resource extractors. I'm going to say women are resource extractors. And if you are a guy that's broken, you don't have resources and stuff like you're barely holding on to the low resources you do have. And you're already having a person that's a resource extractor taking that shit, too. It's dumb. It's really just dumb. I'm not saying you should stay away from women or don't. No, 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 I'm gonna say no. Stay away from women. Yes, I'm gonna say no. Forget it. I'm not stay away from women. If you don't have your life together and you don't really know where you're going in life, if they're not benefiting you towards your goal and your business, do not be around women at that time of your life. Get your life together, then pursue women. You can have women as a luxury thing, like you know, if you if you can get something with a woman without putting too much time and resource into that situation. By all means, you can go ahead and indulge. But most of the time, you got to put some type of time and resource into the situation. And when you apply that, because I'm at a point in my life where it's like I apply no type of pressure and I put no type of resource or time. Because, again, there was a point in my life where I put too much resource and time into situations that now I'm looking back at it and I'm just like, it's it's amazing how we men don't realize how much we put in into situation that's not beneficial towards us. And if you would invest that time and resource into your goal or into your ambition and stuff like that, you will be so much further in life because you are so dedicated to your own cause. By you doing that, by default, you will get women once you make it up there. By default, you will get them when you make it up there literally so you because again you'll be more structured you'll have more stuff to give and more leverage key word the biggest word leverage because right now when you're broken you're trying to figure stuff out and you all over the place helping the family helping this trying to get your stuff together and you're still getting a person that's a resource attractor to come into your life and you know that is a no-no that is a no-no guys focus on yourself get your stuff together and do not do not invest into other people when you can't even invest into yourself. Focus on yourself. Invest into yourself. Mind and body. Make it sound. Because, again, being consistent with yourself, self-motivated, self-dedicated, by default, you will get women on your program and agenda. Because they like guys who have a path. Literally, you're making and creating your path brick by brick she's gonna see that she's gonna be like wow he's going somewhere he knows what he's doing he doesn't need other people if you have a team that's good but we you know where you're going you creating your own path if other people follow you that's good you have a team behind you but again 
You have to lead the way. Women like leaders. Women like guys that know what to do in certain situations. If you're a man that don't have nothing going for yourself and you are here chasing women, it is sad. Because I, 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 it, it, nobody's here to bash you or say you're less of a man. We all been in that situation. We're just saying, get it together, focus on yourself and make yourself a better man. It is not easy. We're not saying it happen like this and the snap of the finger like Thanos stuff. No, it doesn't happen like that. Even Thanos' whole situation, it took time, preparation, step by step. He was thinking the long game. They was out here thinking we're going to win this in a heartbeat. He was out here thinking, I'm going to... Y'all playing, y'all playing chess. I'm playing checkers. Oh, they're playing checkers. They're playing chess. I think I just said that wrong. But we're going to check that back. Um, but yeah, e even that process was more of a long pre-planned situation. Step by step. It's not easy to become the man you want to become. It is not easy to be successful. And being successful leads to a lot of benefits in life. And one of the benefits is women. But it is not beneficial to be a broke man or a man that's trying to get there and focus on women. Women are resource extractors. Focus on yourself. I go to the gym almost every day. I haven't, you know, I, one, I'm going to tell you something about myself real quick. Um, I was 143. As you can see, I don't look like I'm 143, but I was 143 at one point. Now I'm like 198. I'm pushing 200 pounds. Um, I go to the gym every single day at this point. Um, I'm self-dedicated, self-motivated. I take L's consistently in life, but again, I, I really, I got to a point when I used to take L's and I couldn't handle it. I break down internally and stuff and I'd be like, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be like this, but these are the stepping stones to create the man you want to be. You got to get back up every time you fall. You got to get back up every time you fall. You got to let them tears come sometime. You got to sit yourself down and be like, this is not the end. It's the beginning. You got to keep doing the process over and over and over. The grind doesn't stop because you hit a wall. You break through the wall. You go to the next one. You break through that wall. You go to the next one. There will always be another wall to climb. And you're ready to build yourself. Then you should be ready to climb the walls too. Because again, every brick by brick, it takes a process. You can tear down that wall and say, I'm going to use these walls to build myself. Go ahead. But again, do not sit here and say, I am limited. The only thing that limits you is your mind and yourself. So I used to be 143. Um, didn't like my body. Told myself one day when I become the businessman or the person I want to be, I want to be bigger. I want to be toner. And that's the process I'm working on right now. Um, I'm, like I said, 143. At this point, I'm pushing 200 pounds and I'm excited. I wanted to do, achieve this goal last year. Last year, I was weighing very less and now I'm almost to my goal. So just like just the dedication that I show myself, like if I stick to a regimen, a process, Everybody else going to look at me like, oh, you know, da, 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 da. Like, I never been told I look like I play any sports or did anything because of my body was so small. Now people can actually think I actually did something in high school other than just go to school. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to build the image of the man that I feel like I should be and I want to be. And guys, if you're in the process, stick to your regime, stick to your cause and avoid women at all bases. I'm not going to say, you know, if if you're a broke man and you can leverage their time and resources, you know, the, the, well, this is the time and their presence without uh, throwing away resources, go ahead. Even I feel that's a hard tax to do as a man that don't have, you know, you're a broke man, but giving her the D is, eh, that can only keep a woman for so long. Sooner or later, she's going to realize that uh, he's not changing he's not growing this this and the third and again resources the d doesn't keep her for decades like it will keep her for a, a little better amount of time but even that like she's gonna be like i want somebody i can actually be grow with who's stable who got a goal who got a path d is not a path um guys we got to be self-motivated stuff driven stuff focused stay on your course I have a gym resume i used to not go to the gym like that but now i go to the gym consistently I go into the gym, keep my head down, focus. Don't talk to no women. Don't talk to no women in the gym. I don't talk to women in the gym. I go to the gym myself. And if a woman asks me, oh, you want to be gym buddies? You say, okay, but you're not going to the gym to indulge with her. You go to the gym, you look at that mirror, you look at yourself and you say, time to put in that work. 
And if she needs a gym buddy, she can get a personal trainer. You are not her personal trainer. Unless that is your job and that's what you go for. Okay, but even there, I feel like eh, you got to make money. You got to be dedicated to it. But if you're just a guy that's out here saying I'm a personal trainer just to be around women. Okay, weirdo. Go ahead and do what you do. But do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, i say this. If you are already self-motivated and self-driven, and I'm telling you, resource attractors are women. And you are here saying, I want to go to the gym because I'm going to be around women or I want women to think I'm a personal trainer so I can, you know, da, da, da. Focus on yourself, man. Focus on yourself. We do not go to the gym to sit there and pass time and say we was at the gym and I go to the gym every day. You have to work out when you go to the gym. You have to work out when you go to the gym. Do not go to the gym to be sitting there looking at women and wondering, do I have a chance or if she's close to me? Should I talk to her? Should I? No. In the gym, if a woman's in front of you, put your head down, stay focused and tell yourself another set is coming. Every time you're in the gym, another set is coming. Every time you're in the gym, another set is coming. Every time you take a break, another set is coming. Every time you change the song, another set is coming. We're in the gym for an hour, 30 minutes or two hours. For sets, for workouts, for building, for consistency, not for women. You shouldn't be in the gym trying to look at women or saying, I'm in the presence of women. You are in the presence of your own greatness. You got to be self-motivated, self-driven. Do not go to the gym and get women numbers. That is not your drive. That is not your purpose. I can't stress that enough because I've seen it. And it... it Again, learn from your mistakes. If you're that guy, please change. Please, please focus on yourself, my guy. Focus on yourself. You will get there and then you won't have to do stuff like that. They will come to you because they know of you and they see that the drive is there. You will have to put in less time and resource when you are self-made. But when you are in the process you do not want to be distracted. It is hard to make it to the top. It is hard. Listen to every person that told you they went to the top. Listen to every motivation video. Half of the things they say you can't fathom doing. Being homeless for four to five years. Dealing with backlash. Dealing with setbacks after setbacks after setbacks after years. 12 years of doing it. 12 years of setbacks and failures. That is a hard process. So it should be in no type of shape or form that you are distracting yourself when you don't have it. They literally tell you how hard it was to make it to the top. The last thing you need is a distraction in your life. Stay away from women until you make it. There are some rare women that will help you make it to the top, but we don't get that all the time because that was the case that we'll see a whole bunch of guys saying da 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 But I promise you, it's always better to do it on your own. You have to be self-built, self-driven, self-motivated because when you break, you break, but then you don't stay down. You get back up and rebuild yourself. As men, we have to go somewhere. We have to be something. There's no, oh, it's okay to settle here. Then No, you got to be something. You got to be something. Do not settle for less. I don't care if you're a regular worker. Be the best regular worker in your life. Don't settle for being less. If you want to be a businessman, be the best version of the businessman you feel like you need to be in your life. Do not try. And I, I, I do believe this. Look at your competition. Look at your competition and let them know one day you will get old. One day I will come up there. And one day I will over, over achieve you not achieve what you achieve not hit the same monster i will overachieve you and you do not wait for them to get a hundred years old and be like okay now he's too old for me no no you challenge him every day you wake up because just because he's been running the race ahead of time as you that doesn't mean you be like oh you know i never know you keep running you don't stop you keep running you know how he made it there because he kept running and there was always somebody in front of him you don't stop if you pass 10 to 15 people. You keep running. You don't stop. <clears throat> Guys, we got to do better. Don't go on these simple dates. I don't care if it's a $3 date. Save that money for yourself. 
Unless you're going to get the outcomes you want with $3. Okay, I can. But 9 out of 10, your outcome is smashing. <clears throat> the outcome is smashing. And in a lot of scenario situation, I don't feel like you can get some from a woman with $3. Unless you're doing OnlyFans. But uh, I don't even, that, that's, that's buying. And I'm not thinking she's throwing nothing. That's just buying a video clip. But guys please focus on yourself stay driven self-motivated self-taught be around other guys that are driven i look at other guys in the gym to see everybody else is dedicated and there's some guys that bs but other guys i'm like this man is pushing iron and i'm like i gotta be here every day because if I miss a day, I look bad to myself because I'm like, if he could be here every day I'm here, then I'm I have to go harder. I have to come with days that I feel like if I don't see him in the gym, I'm like, I'm doing more. I'm going harder. You have to create your own enemies without the people knowing they're your enemies. You got to create your own conflict because when you're driven to that, when you literally want that competition and you feel like, I took an L today with this girl. You go to the gym. You took an L in life. You go to the gym. And you tell yourself, I'm going to stay focused on myself. I'm going to stay focused to my cause. And I'm going to build. 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 Brick by brick. Situation from situation. It doesn't stop you from being who you are. You got to experience life. You got to stay true to yourself. I know I went on a rant, but um, yeah, women is just, it's tough, man. With women is, I want to speak on it. With women is, all women are not bad for you. But guys, we know how we are as men. And it's hard to focus when you are also focused on women. They look nice. They're very attractive. Yes, we understand. Get your life together first, then go to them last. Because... If you really want my opinion, don't focus on them at all because I'm speaking from experience myself. I notice how I do more when I'm away from them. And a lot of, like I said, I talk to other older guys and guys my age and all of them, sir. And I have conversations daily. That's why I want to have this, you know, with women too, but <clears throat> a daytime show with guys and other people just so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Um, they will say the same thing in their 60s. Their fifties, their forties, be like, if I had your mindset, or if I thought like you. Now I will tell myself this: if I, I got to tell all this knowledge to my little brother, because if he does the same thing I did at his age, that's normal because you were supposed to make mistakes when you're young. But imagine giving somebody so much knowledge, so when he falls, he get back up. Here he have this new. Mindset like, damn, I should approach it this way Because I never had this knowledge I, I gained it from experience But he don't have to experience everything I, I experienced To become a greater version of him He can use me And I can benefit him in a lot of ways With all the knowledge I attained To this point in my life Because a lot of us go through similar situations And it's always refreshing to know that You wasn't the only one that looked at it that way And there's a lot of guys that be like I understand where you're coming from it wasn't easy, but, you know, we got to get past it. You know, that's the benefits of just talking to other guys and, you know, understanding, you know, I'm not the only man that experienced this or went through this. You know, I'm not the only one that broke when I felt this, you know. And when you think you got to be strong and stuff, other guys let you know sometimes it's okay to break. But it's not okay to stay down on the floor. You know, you got to get back up and you got to keep going. So... The reason why I push so hard on saying stay away from women when you at this level is because it's not really easy to do it, but you got to practice it. Practice make perfect. You got to practice it. You got to practice it. No matter how many times you feel, you got to keep practicing. You got to keep doing it. You got to be a regimen. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep pushing. You go to the gym. You think about all your failures. If you did 10 sets, you got to say, I got to do another 10. Boom. I got to do another 10. Boom. I got to do another 10. Boom. Because that I use all my failures and motivation in gym. I use the gym to build on to the next step of self building because I'm like <clears throat> the mind is getting built. Now I got focus on the body. <clears throat> I mean the the body's getting built. 
Now I got to focus on the mind, my bad, instead of backwards. Uh, yeah, but I look at mind. I look at body, then mind. I don't really look at mind and body. I don't know why. That's just my, my opinion. I can be informed. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, guys, you know, just stay away from women, man. You know, get your life together. If you can be around women, I throw a lot of resources. It's, maybe it's okay, but, again, stay motivated. Stay dedicated. And you're going to get the outcomes you want, man. It is not easy to be a man, you know, and it's harder to put yourself in disadvantage situation when you know you can excel if you if you if you did a little switch up a little change here and there. As a man, you gotta stay committed to yourself, man. Self driven, self motivated. I don't care what it is, you gotta stay committed to yourself, committed to your cause. And I'm just saying, women are 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 detrimental to your cause. I say it now and I say it later. You gotta really pick the right ones and but right now if you're not up there, it's very, you know, because they could be the reason, you know. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna say 